Hello, 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 and welcome. Yes, so uh, I just thought I'd do a really quick, like it's going to be maybe a couple of runs through of this. I hadn't done this lock sector before on uh, on the, the higher difficulty for the for the exotics that you do it for. Um, and I just run through it a couple of times and it's it's very, very easy. It's got very, very predictable, very little, little chaos um, in this one. So I'm thinking, you know, most people should be able to should be able to do this. Um, you've got the, the kind of the, the easier version, I think, of unstoppable and um, overload. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you have a decent ranged auto rifle. So I'm putting Norin Hunger on. You want Void. Um, but more importantly, you want a Void subclass, really. So you've got grenades that are going to deal Void damage. Um, you could also put on a, a Void hand cannon, I guess. Uh, but I'd suggest something a little more uh, faster firing. So maybe something like the uh, Last Petition or another void um pulse rifle that you could use for the overload champion and then whack an auto rifle in here a generic auto rifle if you've got the crate the crate would be good pretty much any auto rifle in here if you've been doing the nightfalls duty bound again not bad um not bad rate of fire and and that's what you want make sure that you've put on your uh overload auto smg again you could use an smg in this slot but i would highly recommend range so i go for an auto rifle and then so you've got overload and unstoppable whichever mod you use you use um so i've got my sunbreakers on just to, to keep me at 100 and 100 and 100 they're not really helping in this build um but i have got the volatile flow melee wall maker elemental ordnance and font of might so whenever i pick up you know the uh, little um, wells, we're all good. So yeah, very easy lost sector to find as well. You can go to the tower and come back and it's, it's right here. Now you're going to start off and you're going to have a two unstoppables. There's lots of little squeeby things running at you trying to blow up. So you want to make sure you've got a decent way of getting rid of those. So again, your melee, your grenades, keep it. If you haven't got a, a big grenade build like mine, keep your grenades for when there's lots of them just about to get to you. Throw the grenade, jump in the air. Because um, that's probably what's going to kill you the most before anything else. So we have some ads. There's a, an unstoppable, unstoppable straight away. Just keep them at bay while you get rid of the ads. Um, then it's rinse and repeat. Exactly the same thing, slightly around the corner. Then you have an overload champion to kill. And then nothing will spawn until you go towards the barrier that's stopping you go to the next area. Then the uh, unstoppable will spawn behind you with a lot of exploding squeebies. So just run back to the kind of almost the start of the, uh, the lost sector. Deal with everything at range. Um, and then go through the barrier. When you go through the barrier, that's the boss battle in essence. There is an overload in there they will some of the ads will jump up to where you are you're like in a, a cave entrance looking down below and they'll jump up and, and and potentially kill you there so just as soon as you get to the edge move back a little bit i'll show you when i get there again you can do the um overload from range if you've got an auto rifle then kill all the ads and then a second wave of ads and then the big boss turns up and there's no more champions so let's just let's just go in It is match game, but if you've got void, you're pretty much done. That's why this is such an easy loss sector because again, you've got a, if you've got a void power weapon and, and grenades, you you're good to, good to go hot to trot. Right. Yeah, I was surprised first time I ran through it. I was like, yeah, this is going to be a pain, and it really wasn't. So you've got an overload, not an overload, unstoppable, an just there. So what you can do, get your aim right. I fluffed that was too far. So I'm going to use my melee for the squee because he's probably going to hurt you more. And then unstoppable. Get your volatile rounds.
finish him off. Okay. So you've pretty much got exactly the same thing. You can see all the exploders over there. Oh, they're coming this way. So just I'm going to use my melee because it's going to come back nice and early. Got these exploding little mines as well. Again, I've... Grenade. There he is. I'm going to put a big one into him. Get this ready for these guys. See, having a ranged weapon is kind of useful. So he's almost gone. Now they. Right. So that's your first two. Done. And again, decent ranged order rifle and you're going to be or, or uh, pulse rifle you're going to be absolutely happy days now just about right here there's going to be the overload but the most annoying part of this is there's a sniper just up there he won't spawn in until we get close i'm just going to pop the mines Maybe there's one nearby. There's one just there as well. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Did I get him? Well, wasn't expecting that. And again, I have found today, my body was moaning about it the other day, I have found today that the overloads do, for some reason, not get overloaded easy enough. Right, I used a bit of heavy up there. Just going to run and check. I didn't drop any heavy out here. I'm sure I didn't. So nothing is going to spawn. He says. So I'm going to run up to this barrier and then I'm going to turn around and run back. See, these guys are going to be just here. So take all those out with a grenade. And then get ready for your unstuck. Oh, we'll some more here. Melee these. More here. See you again. trying your best to uh, so I'm just going to put my rift out I haven't used my rift yet he really wants this doesn't he that should hurt him a little bit as well I'm going to grenade him and melee him go back to this hand cannon and finish right so that's to be honest still nice that is the most difficult part of this done. That little bit. I mean, it's, and it's not difficult. You've just got to use what you've got for cover and just get those screeps with grenades or melees or whatever. If you want to use a heavy on them, fine. I mean, you, you know, I was going to say grenade launcher might work, but then you, you won't have your unstoppables. So this is the final room. The cave is below. They're going to jump up onto here. Right, so I've got melee, but I'm going to see if I can get the overload quickly. They've all jumped up, told you. 
I believe that is all of the champions done. I'm not gonna lie to you. So now it's just a case of taking these guys out. Some heavy down there. Before I kill him, I'm gonna go and get it. Because normally, yeah, he's he's your trigger for the next phase of ads. Finish him off. Grenade down there, get him. That should now give me a lot of our rounds. Get a ranged weapon. It's using primary ammo that you won't run out of. They aren't coming up. See, they did. They kind of only those ones that spawn down below here come up, and they're all dead. So you will get another set of these ads. This is big boss time. It's going to be load. away you okay so yeah i would save your heavy and use your heavy just for um the boss and potentially the uh champions and have something that's got a bit of a kick to it so nothing that's you need precision damage i would highly recommend you don't do that and then we're gonna do it again and what i've done is because it's chest day in fact we'll go to orbit a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. This is the cheese kind of thing that I've done for oh well ever, ever since the Lost Sector exotics were a thing. Um, so you just need to make sure you've got your dim up. We're going to do that now. Just going to check dim, reset you. So we've got quite a few. So I'm going to go to the tower. Oh, hello. So what I've got. It's chest day. So if we go to this and look. It's not telling me to say in the rewards. So if we go to here, it says exotic chest armor rare, if so low, right? I don't want chest armor. I don't need a chest armor. I kind of want gloves and boots, really. Um, so what I've done is I have filled my chest up. I have no space in my chest. I mean, I've got Titan ones on. Doesn't matter what you put in. Full. My engrams are full. Okay, that's all you have to do. You do that. If you get an exotic drop, it will go to the postmaster un unspecified. It's just going to be a lost sector exotic. And then you pick, if tomorrow is legs day, you go to the postmaster. And while it's legs day, you pick it up and you'll get legs. If it's arms day, you get arms. So you can choose you to do the really easy lost sectors like this. And then pick the days that you want to unlo unlock the engram or decode it, I guess, um, to choose what type of body part you're you're doing. So, And because this is right next to here, it is no problem going to the tower often. Um, so what you need to do is you need to always have the ability to fill up on engrams. Right? Let's get rid of this. So you always want to make sure... You have the ability to have 10 engrams. Now, there can be anything if you if you want. If you, there can be prime engrams. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got this full, all's good. You could even have the ones, you know, for the the store, whatever they are, the white ones. You could, you could have those in here. It doesn't matter. However, we're going to have to get rid of one of these to collect the stuff in the tower. So, if we go to the tower and go to the postmaster you will see I've got three in here so I could have seven on me and I know I am gonna have enough to fill me again 
I have also got a prime mangram, which I'm going to leave in there as well, because prime mangrams don't mean shit for me. I'm on 1560 power, and the prime mangrams are 1560. Um, I don't get any, any bonus for that. Um, but as you can see, I can't pick anything up. That's the whole point of being full. So my character doesn't get it, which means it comes here kind of un, unnamed. If you get it in any way, so let's say you aren't full here, but you are full, oops, but you are full here. The gap you've got here is where the code will send the exotic first. So it will go in, it will go theoretically into here and be gone, okay, you're, you're a chest. That's it, just you're a chest. And then, so it goes here first, or you're a chest, then it goes into here. So if this is full, it will, but this isn't, it'll go into here and go, it's a chest one. Oh, I can't put it here. It'll go in here. But if they're both full, it doesn't get a designate. So it doesn't get told what type of armor it is. That's the whole point of this. So what we need to do now is just burn one of these. Just one. I'm so happy. Perhaps the Barker is warranted. Burn one. That's it. Right? It won't get decrypted because there's no space. Because it kind of get decrypts after you've taken it away, if you know what I mean. So there isn't any space for it to be decrypted into. So you have to go back here and then we just pick everything up apart from that prime. So pick that up, pick up, pick up, pick up and pick up. So I've now got nine on me and four in here. So we're all good. So I can pick any one of these up, which I will. And I actually, I will pick that one up. Okay. So Boots are full. 60, 60, you see, I've got 60s everywhere. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't need them. Anything that wants me, I've already got one of you. Thank you very much. I've got my one I've made. Don't need that. Don't need that. So, yeah, we're full here. I keep going down. And we're full here. So nothing can be decrypted. And then we just go back. So we go destinations. Dreaming City, back down here, and we just do it again, and just keep checking your uh, your destiny item manager, or keep going to the tower to make sure that you're not filling up on silly things, like I was then. I had quite a few things that were would take space because if you do ever fill up yourself and the postmaster, the oldest thing in there will disappear each time a new item goes in. But I remember in Destiny One, if you didn't pick up an engram. Or your exotic engram fell off a cliff, which happened so many times, it was gone forever. So one thing I'm glad about is that the things automatically go to the postmaster. But you need to keep her uh, on top of it. So here we go again. I'd like to get a couple. You know, I've got six. So I'm going to go over here and fill up. And the super doesn't count. So you, you super will disappear when you go in there. It's always worth, you know, if you can, getting heavy. But most of these things, when you start a mission by grabbing a flag, your super will disappear, so don't worry too much. Launch. Here we go again. So again, just the final recap, really. It's chest day in the Lost Sector, so you full on chests, so you can't collect any chests if they drop. Your engrams are full, so you can't collect any exotic engrams if they drop. So they will go to the Postmaster undecided, so it doesn't know what part of the body the armor is for. And then if you want legs, you wait till leg day, and then you collect it from the Postmaster on leg day. So where the, exot the Lost Sector is dropping legs, you pick it up. And you'll get exotic legs. And they're guaranteed to be things you haven't got. So that you've only got a few of them left. For instance, you've only got the armor from the Lost Sector left. You've got all the other stuff. Then you're guaranteed to get them. 
Simple as that. It will give you armor that you haven't got. Waffer thin. Waffer thin. Come on. Aim. There we go. So again, first champion is unstoppable. There's loads of these little things. So you can shoot them, or again, I highly recommend using your melee if you're especially a, a warlock, because they all go. You've got mines everywhere, so just keep an eye out for those, especially if you need to retreat somewhere. So first one, unstoppable. I'm sure there's another one there. Yeah. The other one's going to be unstoppable right there. So we pop him too. Grenade those little dweebies. Get ready for him. We've got volatile rounds, so it's worth just using those up on him. Again, there's loads of cover. You don't have to use your heavy. You've got more than enough time. I've got my, my melee. Let him get close. <laughs> my grenade as well. I don't want to pick that up. Oh, there's two. I can. I can. So he's done, right? So that's your two. Your first um, unstoppable there, your second unstoppable here with loads of ads. Now you've got the overload champion, but the sniper is probably what's going to get you. Oh, hello. So remember this uh, heavy hammer back here. So we're going to go up. We're going to, we've got normally, there's normally one there. Normally one just next to me here. There it is. And there's one there, two there in fact. Okay. So the sniper's going to spawn there. I'm probably going to use a rocket on him, to be fair. But he's dead. If you've got a heavy ammo finder on for all your shizzle, So, yeah, I'm lucky. I've got a rocket launcher that fires two rounds, so it, it's instant death. You're going to probably have one that fires single rounds. So you're going to have to fire the rocket. And again, if, I highly recommend you get an auto-loading heavy um, because then you can... This is what I got my buddy to do, and he got the gauntlets because of this, is you fire your rocket. No, you use your SMG or your auto-rifle. You overload the champion. You fire the rocket. The moment you hear that ging ging overload sound, whatever the ding ding is, you then fire the rocket. You switch straight back, straight back, so you don't even see the rocket hit. Switch straight back to your auto rifle and then um, overload them again. And just wait a couple of seconds and then switch back to your uh, rockets and you've got the second one in. So it's that's what I did before I got this rocket. So it's, it's still easy. And I had... I don't have it on me. But I have this with auto loading um, explosive light. That's one I recommend. So they're the first three. Unstoppable, unstoppable, overload. There's going to be another unstoppable and a shit ton of squeeby exploders come here. So you wait for your uh, grenade to come back if you haven't got it. As soon as you hear the noise, you run. You can be shit loads more. So you stop him. Have I got enough heavy? Oh, I don't know. You just go ring a ring of roses around this. It's a 
save him a heavy because he's not really that much of a danger. He says he's gonna kill me. Get him in the head and you can finish him. Give me heavy. I haven't got Lucian finisher on. Which I probably should actually for this. But anyway, that's it, right? That's the first area. The second area is the boss room. So we make sure we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, so as I said earlier, they will jump up here and kill you. So just be aware. Do everything at distance. So wait until you can see the little squirrely lights. There we are. Look, you see the little... What's that? Where is it? It looks like his hair. Oh, they're coming now. Come on, everyone come up. Everyone come up together. What, <laughs> what killed me, Mr. Adventure? No idea what that was. Maybe one of those barrels rolled and got me. I don't know. It's all good. They don't respawn. There's still going to be a lot of them, but those ones I killed are dead. So let me get this quickly. Right. Where's his, where's his hair? There's his hair. Look. Oh, good. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's what we need. And up here as well. It's him done. That's it for champions. And then do everyone else at distance if you can. More heavy, just sweet. More heavy, so let's just do that. There's the boss. Hello, boss. There's a couple that should be that done. Now, you are going to probably need more um, rockets than I need. Um, so you just, yeah. You try and get more rockets outside. Try and so RNG, but go back and fill. Okay, exotic engram, uncredited, right? Sent to postmaster. But like I said before, more importantly, if this wasn't full, it will go to the postmaster as a lost sector chest exotic. The fact that we're full here means it doesn't get a designation. Of chest it just gets a designation of lost sector exotic that's it that's why you can choose which one of these you'll get not which one but what part of the body it goes on so today is chest day um, you have a look on my uh, my phone I've got a list of what days are what I'm old now so I need my glasses so I'm gonna go to my photos and here it is so today is the 14th so technically on here it's the 13th which is the bay of the drown which is the chest tomorrow is chamber of starlight from six o'clock for me uk time or we'll reset today is chamber of starlight and it's heads so if i wanted a, a head a exotic from six o'clock tonight reset tonight to reset tomorrow i would take that exotic out of the postmaster i would go to the, to the tower and take it out and i would get an exotic head the day after that the 15th is legs and then it's arms on May the 16th. So from reset in the evening for me on May the 15th to May the 16th, I think. Um, but all you need to do, if you're not sure of what, what day it is, you go to the map like we did earlier. And you look at this and it says exotic chest armor. So if I took it out of the postmaster now, it would be chest armor. It's that simple, right? It's that simple. Um, so find one of these, you reset that you like doing everyone has different play styles um so yeah so it, it, sometimes i'll do this i find it really easy and and people don't other people don't and sometimes people say that this exact this lost sector is easy and i try i'm like that's not easy that's a pain in the ass so find one that you don't mind doing um there's loads of videos out there as well of people who who solo them on the, the hardest level um 
and they'll give you really good tips for for how how to do it. Um, but I do. I want to get a few of these. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah, it's the best way, and there are exotics that you can only get. So these ones you can only get in the lost sector. They are really really good. You get a multiple, you get two grenades, um, and having two turret, two stasis turrets, is fan dabby dozy. So again, volatile flow. Awesome. Am I gonna use my heavy? I'm gonna use my heavy. Armor. Just one, just one, just one cheeky little pew. Again, it is a lot of rounds, but. Just be patient. Just be patient. As long as you stun him all the way at the back, you're all good because you're always going to have this corner to come into. So if you want to get rid of the, the exploding stuff, you can always get in here. And you can always jump on here. Right? He can't shoot you. They can't explode on you. So there's always places you can go. And the more you, the more you do it, but and if you come in and you find it really really hard and you just can't you just can't quite get it come and do it on normal so don't capture the flag or whatever it is don't take the flag at the entrance just come into this without the flag you have a bit more of a walk you know from over there and then just do it and and have a look around and find places like this and go right that's actually quite a good bit of cover here he can't shoot me they can't blow up see they get very upset Where is he? Where's the big fella? There's a big fella. No, that's probably what the thing that blew up, wasn't it? Don't jump, run around the corner. He didn't stop then, that was like full auto. Where are they there? I'm just giving them a little hellos. Hello from me, hello. Drop some heavy, would you? I'm going to save my heavy. I need to blow up near him. Again, let him come. Turn around and run. Reload. See, they stopped then, didn't they? They started going back. So maybe this is a point where they don't come past. The ones that spawn all the way over there. I might have to try that out next time. Oh, I picked up some heavy, did I? Though they blow up, they do blow up. Okay. I'm going to blow those up next time when I go up into the cave entrance. He 
He's not finished. He's not finished, the son of a bitch. Oh, I've wasted heavy. It's so annoying. He's back to full health. So I'm just going to keep this up. No, nope. won't do it that time, will you? Yeah. So what my buddy had the other day. You're trying to do him and he's just not. Some heavy at least. Am I full? No, I'm going to make sure I'm full. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah. They are the worst. Unstoppables I can kind of deal with. But those ones are... Oh, when they don't do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> they do do it themselves. Wait, you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Look at chain reaction. Jesus. Easy, easy, tiger. Could use my heavy. I'm not going to. My grenades. Oh, I've got my rift again, I forgot to use. Finish him. Okay, four heavy. Not doing so well, is he? So this time, I'm going to learn and I'm going to shoot the explosive thing. Things coming up. Oh, you know what? Just do that. You got away with that, didn't you? We've got enough. So I'm gonna fire this as I drop down. These up. Where the big boss man? That should get rid of most of those as well. And that's that. There you go. So that again just just being patient isn't it just being patient um and that's it that's all i wanted to do is go through um you've only got two hours left to do this one you've got the time i go and do it because i think it's really easy um the ones that i found the easiest to do now i found this one this one is going to be on on the list of ones to do um the other one is the one I did a video on the other day, which is this one here, Filion's Arrest. There are, going back to my map, the Cosima Drone. If you go, you spawn in here and you come through here, and this is where the tank spawns. This is where the, the PSYOPs battlegrounds takes you through here. So you, 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 you kind of take that little train thing that's floating all the way to here and you go inside. Just behind you here is the Exodus Garden 2A. That one I find the easiest. 
by far it's the one that i did a lot in the beginning um it's very very very, very easy but this one today i think could potentially become my new favorite because it's as soon as you work out to, to jump away from the explodey things it's not difficult there's loads of cover you you stun the unstoppable straight away let all the little ads come at you until there's no more ads to come at you and it's just you dancing with a big unstoppable which is not too difficult but there you go um thank you for watching please give it a go uh these exotics are worth are worth getting they really do help the game um especially the slightly harder content um it's yeah it's a lot of fun have a lovely day have a lovely rest of the weekend as always be kind to yourself and everybody else and i'll see you next time goodbye